Support for WYES is made possible by Mary Lou Christovich in memory of her husband, William Christovich. Peggy Scott Laborde, and welcome to Steppin' Out, spotlighting the New Orleans area's arts and entertainment scene. Seated at our table tonight, Poppy Tucker, host of the WWNO radio program, Louisiana Eats. Hey, Miss Poppy. Hey, hey there. <laughs> We're so thrilled. Actress Janae G. Michelle here to discuss her role in the new production of The High Priestess of Dark Alley, now at Le Petit Theater. Welcome, welcome. Oh, it's great you. to see it's you. Great Hello. To be here, Peggy. And he is back, Michael O'Hara, songwriter and lead <laughs> singer for the 80s rock band The Sheiks, and doing many, many things today and performing for us tonight. Welcome, sir. Thank you for having and me. And I know you have always. a very special fundraiser to talk about, so Absolutely. we look forward to catching up on that. Thank and you. stepping out, theater critic Alan Smason, editor of the Crescent City Jewish News. Peter. But first up, Poppy. Well, you know, it's summertime, so that means the eating is easy, especially <laughs> when it comes to paying the check. So I have some really exciting super deals for people to know about this week. But before that, the hottest food news I've got, Melotons, real authentic Louisiana Melotons. You know, they all drowned during Hurricane Katrina and we've been regrowing them. Well, Tuesday at the Crescent City Farmers Market, which of course is at up, what used to be Uptown Square, River Road and Broadway, a and K Citrus is going to be selling growing Meloton plants. Oh. This and it's um, come, at, you know, as long as they last. So it starts at 9 a.m. I'd be there early if I had my heart set on oh. one. So now let's talk bargains, great bargains. Now, how about Kingfish has a great three-course summer lunch for 1893. That is the year of. Kingfish's birth, that's of course <laughs> Huey Long, yeah. and Sh Chef Nathan Richard is serving a delicious gumbo or pork steam buns you get for a first course, smoked roast beef poor boy, or mm. a fried chicken panzanella salad, it all sounds so good, and of course bread pudding for dessert. Now that's for lunch, and it's easy to find good lunch specials, but dinner, not so much. Check this out. Broussards is honoring its founding year, which of course was 1920. So that means $19.20 for a three course dinner. Dinner? Yeah, $20 bill and change. How about that? And the first okay. course is uh, summer tomato and arugula salad mm. with celery root remoulade and spice boiled shrimp. Or you can have turtle soup or the soup du jour. And then for an entree, chicken pantalba with Brabant potatoes and a Baronet's aioli or mm -hmm. trout almondine, who doesn't like that, with Leonese potatoes and a lemon butter sauce. Mm -hmm. That's and a deal. Yeah, it's incredible. And then, of course, you get dessert, which mm -hmm. is a boule of ice cream or sorbet with house-made pastry and summertime fruit. Yum! <laughs> now, <laughs> Antoine's is doing a very interesting special of their own. They've decided to celebrate the year we're in. So their three-course lunch is $20.16. And here are the choices. It's really good. Lots of choices. Charbroiled oysters, mm. gumbo, or a summer salad. And then it goes on to a seafood cake, a petite tenderloin that even has a burgundy sauce and an andouille stuffing, um, or crawfish etouffee. <laughs> For dessert, you get a choice of bread pudding or chocolate cake or the meringue glace. Oh, so, I, I love mean, that. this is very swell. I just go with that. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit over $20. Yeah. Three courses at Antoine's. And then, of course, we have to remember $18.56 through the end of the year at Two Jacks. But there's something really exciting going on at Two Jacks, and I am so excited about it. They are doing on Thursday night a special bourbon dinner. And their bourbon dinner is going to have all the hot new young chefs. Isaac Toops, who of course was fan favorite on this year's Top Chefs. Mm -hmm. Alex Harrell, which is 
everybody's top favorite, his restaurant Angeline in the French Quarter, and of course Marcus Woodham. So mm -hmm. to commemorate the anniversary, they went to Jefferson Bourbon, which is a very small house bourbon place. Look at the cool glass you get mm. for a souvenir. And um, they got their own special small batch barrel of bourbon that is being bottled specially for them mm -hmm. for this anniversary year. There's gonna be scallop ceviche with a mm. grilled peach broth, buttermilk, hot fried chicken livers with oh. whipped gorgonzola. Everything is gonna be paired with a cocktail. So there's a peach raffinac, Swedish sweet tea with bourbon, Louisiana heirloom tomato salad. Mm, and that's coming with a blonde martini with coche americana and yellow chartreuse. Then you go on, this is Isaac Toops, of course, I know. Orange glazed pork ribs with mint coleslaw beer and mm. a shot shandy. And then for dessert, a blueberry hand pie with Poppy's favorite, frozen Creole cream cheese. Right. It's a $110 a person, and it's worth every penny. <laughs> and I'll be there, so okay. y'all come on. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Thank you, Poppy. Thank you, Peg. <laughs> well, Janae, or many of us are used to calling you G, okay? <laughs> Originally from New Orleans, went away for a while in LA, been back here, but more of a business lady and yes. not on the boards of Le Petit Theater, mm -hmm. you know? But you're, you're reinventing yourself once again. Here. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Again. I, um, I'm on the board of uh, La Petite, and I was honored to be asked to play uh, the High Priestess. And uh, we have a stunning cast of players. And what's wonderful is a story about New Orleans. And we don't often get brought to New Orleans plays about New Orleans. And the uh, writer uh, has a has uh, come to New Orleans with a play that that challenges our thoughts about uh, about color, internal color is issues in in New Orleans, uh, internal racial issues, uh, and the problem with uh, church and mm. and and love and and uh, and relationships. And we're very happy to be able to um, to come to the La Petite with this wonderful, wonderful show. Well, being a New Orleans gal, one thing that I wanted to remind our viewers is that in, uh, and we'll come back to play in just a second, mm -hmm. but in 1977, you were queen of the Zulus and wore the most beautiful dress by Bob Mackie, designed by Hollywood mm -hmm. designer Bob Mackie. I was his special little uh, China doll that year. <laughs> <laughs> he, um, Look at that dress. Oh, my oh. goodness. Oh. Yeah, it was the first time that a queen wow. mounted the float in an ethnic costume. Uh, they usually wore the tiara and the white dress, and I said, I won't do that. I won't do that. The Queen Zulu should look very ethnic. And Bob Mackie agreed. And that particular outfit was on the Sonny and Cher show. Uh, and I'd seen it two years before. And I thought, if I was ever Queen Zulu in New Orleans, that's what I'd wear. Uh, and mm. little did I realize that I would be Queen Zulu. And that's exactly what I wore. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, well back yeah. to the play, though. Mm -hmm. I know you haven't done a have, have you? I know you've been in films and yes. TV and, 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 um, in Hollywood. Yeah. But had, had you been in plays before? Uh, I had not been in a full play in so 41 years. So that's a years. whole different <laughs> set of muscles, isn't I'm it? I'm telling my age, right? <laughs> 41 <laughs> years, too, and sorry. it was quite a challenge to be able to come to the La Petite uh, in uh, the High Priestess of Dark Alley. Uh, and I have been uh, challenged to learn lines at my age, <laughs> you know, and to uh, remember when to come in and out, uh, but to work with a cast of people who were seasoned from New York and from Boston, uh, to work with uh, um, uh, Chris uh, Sidbury, who plays the lead role in this production. Mm -hmm. uh, she is a uh, highly trained actress, and she plays my daughter, and she plays the main character who is challenged by love challenged by family, challenged by the, the concepts of beliefs that we should live by, ch by church. She's mm -hmm. challenged to live 
to duplicate her mother's life. And then the second daughter is, um, is Tracy, and Tracy is playing the daughter who, who uh, rebels against everything her wonderful mother is trying to tell her. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's so much like what we go through with our children today. You know, and I, I'm just pleased to be a part of the, 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 the most charming character of all, though, is a character called Sweet. And I think most New Orleanians will fall in love with Sweet uh, because uh, Sweet is your regular uh, down-home brother, is, is what <laughs> I call him. And uh, Sweet is a philosopher in his own way, and uh, he challenges his uh, my, my daughter, who, who resents everything I am about, uh, to appreciate and understand her mother. And so it works well. Well, I mm -hmm. still look forward to seeing it. And I know, Alan, you already have seen it. I did see it. I'll have a review on it next week. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Looking forward to it. But we've gotten very used to uh, films being set here in TV series, but to have a, a play set here as well. Yeah. But um, welcome back to the stage. We're so glad Thank that you're you. here. Thank you very much, Jeanette. And New Orleans Magazine's quiz queen, Julia Street, has a question for us. Last time, Carl Dons named the dessert that the Pontchartrain Hotel's Caribbean room has been known for in the early days. And the pastry for which the coffee shop was famous for. Okay, the mile high pie and the blueberry muffin. And they're back now, that's good news. Now tonight's question. Give us three streets named after Spanish governors of the Louisiana Territory. Hmm, email your answers to stepanout at wys.org. Our prizes, tonight we have a dish top with a message, the cod couple <laughs> from our friends <laughs> at wearablevegetables.com. Plus, we have a $50 gift certificate from Kitchen Witch Cookbook Shop, and they'll be hosting a sip and shop on Bayou Road next Friday evening from 5 to 7, and it takes place between North Broad and Dergenois, right, right around there, North Dergenois. And there'll be store pop-ups, free parking, bike racks, and complimentary wine. And you can visit WYS.org for our online calendar to see our lineup of events, including we've got the Mulligan Brothers at Chicky Wawa next Friday. You can also also linked to our WYS YouTube channel to view our program. And now, as we said, he's back and we're so thrilled. Michael O'Hara, also known as the Sheik. Good to see you, kiddo. It's really good to be here as always, and thank you for having me. Of all course. The time. I well, I know you're it. keeping busy, but this Sunday is sort of extra special in terms of an event. Yes, it is. Um, my band, my new band, Resurrection, and I, we will be opening for the Chiwis. Uh, at, uh, the I've never <laughs> Only in heard New Orleans them, can I we really, say this and we actually Chiwis. understand I'm it. I'm really you know? looking forward to it. Uh -huh. But that'll be at the Willow, and of course, formerly Jimmy's, formerly so Jimmy's know. and yeah. Jimmy Anselmo is promoting this for, uh, to raise funds for cancer research. And if you remember, the last time I was here, uh, I, with my band, I played the song that I wrote for Tulane Cancer Center, You're Not Alone. We will be performing that song on Sunday, among other things, mm -hmm. uh, as I recreate and resurrect uh, the chic and the chic music that I wrote all those years for it. Well, it's so much fun, and you have moved back now. How long have you been? Back. I've you, been back six months now. Six months. Yeah. Okay. And always, when I say back from Dallas, Fort Worth, you live, absolutely. You know. And I'm loving being you back are, here. I, was I just wondering, love it. And the good? people are, are so sweet, and all of you welcoming me back and making me feel so at home. And uh, a couple of pulled knives and said, yeah. "Why did you leave?" And, and, <laughs> You know? <laughs> well, you know, if folks want to hear you 24-7, you've got CDs available. Absolutely. You can go on Michael uh, J. O'Hara, my uh, Facebook page, and I have the merchandising page there, and uh, all the chic music, all the new music that I've written and stuff like that is all there. Yeah. Uh, videos. And you can also push the button and download You're Not Alone okay, for only $2.99. All right. And that's and a fun all reason. of that goes to yeah. Tulane Cancer Pancreatic Center. Yeah. Cancer. Yeah. Right. Now, another hat that you wear to addition to, okay? <laughs> and if some folks are meeting you tonight for the first time, you're also a minister. I am. I am. And I've been a minister now for almost 20 years. And um, people say, well, how do you relegate all like that? But I've always been kind of a maverick in a way, you know? Um, my methods are I'm out with the people. It's more evangelical thrust. I mean, I'm, I'm not requiring you to eat live chickens or anything like that. Uh -huh. But uh, I'm out with the people. That just means I'm on the move. I, uh -huh. I go where a lot of the, the ministers can't go, in a sense, because they're, they're, they're you know, sheep herding the, uh, yeah. the sheep and taking care well, of them. Well, also, I just think you're so inspiring, because <laughs> how, many, how much weight did you lose? I lost 200 pounds. <gasps> 
in three and a half years, and I did it by giving birth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's killing me. No, no. <laughs> well, you're performing for us tonight, so we'll let yes, you go absolutely. and do that. Okay. But uh, later on in our program, we'll be letting you know where else uh, Michael and his band will be performing. But here is his original competition called Bar Up in Heaven for a very special friend. I wrote this song for my late great guitar player, Mr. Leslie Martin Denard. serves just wine with angels singing from on high and we can hear your guitar playing day and night and you are safe and feeling fine one of these days when I'm done traveling I'll see in that bar up in heaven yeah well there's a bar up in heaven that needs no sign where everybody comes in time and you can feel the love you thought you left behind it goes right with you deep inside one of these nights when i'm done traveling i'll see you in that bar up in heaven strumming on guitar air I can hardly wait to hug you again when I know our reunion will never end well there's a bar up in heaven that never closes always open or throws you out and you can play your guitar day and night and no one stops you for playing too loud one of these nights when I'm done traveling I'll see you yes I will I'm gonna be I will said I'll meet you up in heaven I'm gonna see you in heaven Tulane Prostate Cancer Society benefit is this Sunday at the Willow Uptown at noon. There's a VIP meet and greet with the musicians, and that's a $30 ticket. And general admission for the 1 p.m. concert is $20. And now it is time for our artist spotlight. With a background in biology, artist Allison Stewart bridges the gap between landscape and abstract. The paintings become visual diaries, upon which Stewart records her response to our threatened landscape, as she will show us. Being an artist is not a job. It's a way of looking at the world and reacting to the world. And it doesn't stop at 5 o'clock when I go home or 7 o'clock or whatever it is. It's a way of, uh, for me, expressing how I feel about the world around me and it is constant. 
we all have a style. Anytime an artist, you know, puts her life to it, she develops a style, a habit of making marks, developing a language, a visual language, uh, using colors in a certain way that is not like any other person who uses color in that same way. And uh, it's, a, it's a matter over time. I'm a gesture painter. I'm, I don't stay in the lines. I don't have a plan beforehand that I work from. I take hundreds of photographs and I do sketches and I do a lot of collages. But then when I face that white canvas, it's, it's, it's a mystery and it's a, it's a um, frightening blank <laughs> stare that I make. Uh, uh, and I just I start in. My first job is to mess up that white canvas and that's where I start. Most of the work is done on the floor. Uh, it, it's, um, I bend over, I stand and bend over. And uh, that, gets, that gets tiring, but it also is enervating because I work around the painting. I, not, I don't start with top being top. That also comes out of the process. So my goal is to allow the, the materials to paint the painting. And I just want to step away. And through that process, and through the experimentation and trying new things, I'm hoping to come up with new imagery. Somewhere in the process, as I'm putting the paint on and layering up the canvas, uh, an image will come, mainly an organic image, usually a flower or a plant part, not the whole plant. Uh, and then that gives me a, a door to walk into to expand on the organic nature. The forms arrive at, on the canvas out of that process. And most of my forms have floating aspects to them because we live in such a watery atmosphere and a watery environment. There are no fixed boundaries in Louisiana. If you've noticed, you look out on the horizon and it just fades in the distance primarily because of the humidity. And that, that, that humidity in the water diffuses all the edges. So those hard edges don't exist in New Orleans for me. So my world just floats and it disappears and things come out of the, uh, the, the uh, up to the surface and things recede and it's a give and take process. So my work is about, for me, beauty and fragility, vulnerability. So I like to make uh, works that are not necessarily landscapes, not necessarily abstract, but somewhere in that middle zone that fall on that fence so you can read them either way. And that, that makes me able to um, push either direction. The points that I would like to have people go away with are the points about the importance of beauty and the uh, feelings of fragility or vulnerability. Um, and just that awareness is enough for me. That, that's, that would be the essence of it. We, we live in, in beauty. We want to keep that as much as we can. We don't want to manipulate it more than we have to. And we want to, I think we want to leave a light footprint. Alison Stewart, who with her husband founded the KidSmart art program, can be reached by calling her studio. You can also check out her website or through email, and we'll show you that full screen for you. And we'll also be presenting a one-hour show where Stewart and 12 other artists will be featured, and that's by Tom Gregory. It's called Louisiana Artist Spotlight. That's premiering next Thursday, July 14th at 9 p.m. And go to AllisonStewart.com for more information about Allison. Stewart. Now time for Alan. Well, I just want to say the Michael McKelvey era is definitely on now at Tulane Summer Lyric because they're doing for the first time the 2002 musical Thoroughly Modern Millie, which of course was Tony Award winning and based on the 1967 film with Julie ha uh, Andrews and a host of other people. But this is Brianna Latrash. She comes from Cincinnati <laughs> as does the, uh, the the figure who That's was really Joseph. Her name. Uh, really, oh, Brianna okay. Latrash, okay. she plays okay. Millie Dumont. Okay. And again, she is from Cincinnati. She's a rising senior does a really great job. I know that she's going to be doing a lot more in the future. Uh, her, her voice is really very, very good and uh, again, uh, still in school, so we probably will see a lot more from her. She's starring alongside with Chris Carey and Maggie Windler, who uh, play the, uh, the the parts of her boss and uh, Dorothy Brown, her, her lady friend who are at the Hotel Priscilla. Also in this production for the very first time on a, a stage at Summer Lyric, Idella Johnson. She does a great job oh, as Muzzy. Yeah. Oh my goodness, great. great. She really, really steals the show. 
Liz Argus also comes back to Summer Lyric this year as Mrs. Mears. That, that was the role that was done uh, <laughs> by Lily, uh -huh. B. Lily in the film. But, but again, a great, great role for her. Liz Argus, a lot of fun. And uh, just to say that Brianna Latrash uh, has a, a great amount of dancing and singing. This is a great, uh, great uh, musical. And you will see some wonderful numbers like uh, Forget About the Boy and what have you. Uh, I know that Jeanne Buisson did, did a great job on the choreography. Also, hats off to Leonard Rabin on the uh, core, on the uh, conducting. The Early Modern Millie will play just till this weekend, and that'll close on Sunday, July the 10th. Over at the Rivertown Theaters for the Forming Arts, they're getting ready to take the wraps off of their first production of The Wizard of Oz. I say the first because after this production, knows they're going to do The Wizard of Oz Jr. This is going to star <laughs> Shelby Mack. Shelby Mack, of course, was just recently doing uh, the char uh, sweet charity that she did, and she also has done some numbers at the World War II Museum. Uh, I would really recommend this. It's going to be highly, uh, you know, uh, irresistible for the kids, but also for the adults, based on the 1939 film. And also coming up, uh, a new production for the NOLA Project. This is written and directed by Andrew Larimer. It's called Exterior Pool Night. It will take place <laughs> at a pool and also in a hotel room. They have different tracks that it's going to be based on, very similar uh, to an immersive experience that we had with, with Alice's Adventures and things of that sort that the NOLA Project has done before. I think that you will enjoy this, and I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be at the Aloft New Orleans Downtown Hotel. And again, different tracks, so you have to kind of pick where you want to be, if you want to stay put or, or what have you. And also coming up on Wednesdays, beginning this next week, will be the Stage Door Idol competition. It'll be at 6 o'clock on Wednesdays, with the exception of the week before the finals. They will not uh, go, and I believe the finals are on August the uh, the 20th. But uh, I'll be the judge in the second week oh, that we'll fine. be having that, along with Leslie Castay and uh, Banu Gibson. All right, thank you so much, Alan. And now time for our picks. Poppy. Tales of the Cocktails coming. Special event, the keynote address with chef superstars Grant Ashots and Albert Adria right. at uh, Wednesday, July the 20th, Civic Theater, 6 to 7.30. Don't miss it if oh, you love okay. food. Jenny. Along with uh, uh, Zeb Hollis III and Nick, uh, uh, we have uh, Dennis Donnell, who is an artist and an actor. And he's going to be featuring his uh, artwork at the McKenna Museum of African Arts at 2008 Carondelet. I encourage you to come out and see him. Thank you, Michael. Well, on July 30th, this month, we'll be at the Tap Room in Covington, and then we'll be back at Catuso's on the West Bank on August 12th, okay, so come on out. great. Alan. And if you're not too tired from the running of the bulls on Saturday morning, check out <laughs> Yats Entertainment, which will be at Cafe Istanbul, the Healing Arts Center. That'll be uh, coming up this whole weekend, the, uh, the 9th and 10th. All right, thank you. And now my picks. Kevin Belton will be at the Crescent City Farmer's Market. That's tomorrow, downtown, a magazine in Gerard. And that's from 8 a.m. to noon. He'll be signing books, and he'll also give a praline demonstration. Gina Wear Costumes and Clothing will hold a sale tomorrow from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. right in Mid-City on Bienville in time for the summer, summer clothing, red dress run, white linen nights, etc. And the New Orleans Film Society's 19th annual French Film Festival will run through next Thursday, July 14th, of course, Bastille Day at the Britannia. And you can visit the Film Society's website to see the full lineup. And now we leave you, though, with more from Michael O'Hara with the Mercer and Arlen tomb, Come Rain or Come Shine. Thank you so much for watching. Good night. Nobody's loved you Come rain or come shine High as a mountain Deep as a river Come rain or come shine Well, I guess when you met me It was just one of those things 